This is the 2017 AP Physics 1 FRQ question number 2. In this question, they want you to design an experiment to figure out the coefficient of static friction. So, um, you know, there's several experiments you would do. I think the most straightforward one would be essentially to have a block and just to attach some kind of force meter or spring scale, something that's going to be able to measure the force. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to slowly pull on the block until the block just starts to move. And when it just starts to move, you're going to go ahead and record the force. And what that force is going to be is the force of static friction. Okay, so that would be the procedure I would do. Um, see do they ask you ask you to draw a picture and this kind of explain I would make sure that you talk about doing multiple trials specifically I would probably say you're gonna like add mass on top and just kind of test it multiple times multiple ways um, so you get uh, get a lot of good data um, okay I'm not going to do the all the detail. Hopefully you got most of that. Let's derive our equation. So to derive our equation, you know, if we do our FBD here, we're going to have a force pull. We're going to have friction this way. We're going to have our normal force. We're going to have our uh, gravity coming down. Okay. And so if we sum do our summation here, we're going to have um, F pull minus friction equals M A. Since it is a static case, this would just be equal to zero. So our F pull should equal our friction. Likewise, hopefully you see here that our normal force is going to have to be the same as gravity. Okay, so if we keep going, our F pull should equal mu times Fn. And since Fn is going to be mg here, you should get a mu equal to write this mg mu is equal to our f pole divided by mg okay there you go so that would be that would give us our coefficient of friction by the way if you wanted to you could talk about say making a graph of f pole divided by mg here and then you would have a nice slope here uh, that would tell you your coefficient Okay, last question. Actually, this isn't the last one, but second to last one. Uh, so they give you all this data, and they basically want to say, is you know, what's the conclusion? So you look at the average, and you see they're equal. So at first blush, you might think, oh, you know, they are in fact equal. However, if you notice, five out of the six trials, essentially, it says that the coefficient of kinetic friction is less, and it's only this one weird outlier here where it's. You know, it's a huge difference in the opposite direction. So I think you can clearly say that they are not equal, and you would just talk about the fact that something went wrong with group five, and all the other five groups seem to confirm that kinetic is less than static. Okay, letter D. Um, in letter D, they're saying, okay, you're going to put uh, mass on top of the block, and it's twice. How does the coefficient of static friction compare? Okay, well the coefficient should stay the same. Remember, the coefficient of static friction is basically a measurement of surface roughness. And therefore, adding more mass to the top of the block, though it should increase the friction, it does nothing to affect the, stat the surface roughness. So there will be no effect. Um, the coefficient of friction will stay the same.